I have a world already. The world is there, the character's there, and I am imagining a scenario that they could be in. It's not really documentary, it's not really fiction. Because I wanted to make films in South Dakota on the, on the reservation over there, it was really important to cast people that actually has, you know, can, can bring the authenticity to the characters. I tried to bring actors in, but even the way they speak, the accent is different. So using non-actors is actually a great way to maintain the authenticity. Just gotta let you trust me. Gotta quit trying to force you. Just trust me, bro. When you're working this way, these very authentic interactions between characters, you have to edit in your own head because it's now planned, and you have to immediately tell your actor and your cinematographer what else you, they need to do in order to make this work in the editing room. I'm very lucky to have a cinematographer that really understands where the story is. He always said, you know, it doesn't matter how amazing the light is, when the performance isn't authentic or good, for some reason the cinematography don't seem good. And sometimes when you know, you're following the kids around like, oh, this just looks great, I don't know why it looks so great, because it's, it's, it's real, you know, it's authentic. I just ask you to take care of Gus on his travels, Lord. Just be with him all the time and protect him. Keep him safe, God. Well, I think I'm, I'm searching for something that I want answers for in life. And, and I was raised an atheist, um, and I, I, I wasn't... This idea of spirituality and doesn't really make any sense to me. And that, I think that's because there is a separation between organized religion and what spirituality is for people who live so close to nature. And that's something I didn't understand until I, I traveled out to South Dakota to the reservation. Um, is um, when you're that cut off from all of this, when, when you have to humble yourself to the weather, you know, to, to the land, to the animals, there is a groundedness. I think a lot of uh, spiritual practices come out of nature, you know. So I, I think I'm attracted to telling stories that somehow related to nature because it's a reflection of humanity. Mm -hmm.